What's going on guys? Perspective here. Today we're going to take a look at the Corn Electronics Gundam Mid Tower ATX. <laughs> What's going on guys? Perspective here. Today we're going to take a look at the Corn Electronics Gundam ATX Mid Tower. It comes in two different models. It comes in an RX782 as you see here. Or the Zaku 2. The time of purchase, it was $289.99 on Newegg.com. The case itself is made out of steel, so it's pretty sturdy and it's got some heft to it. The case supports radiators from 120 millimeters to up to 360, depending on where you place it. You can fit CPU coolers up to 160 millimeters in height. I was able to fit an NHD 15 in there, no problem, which with the fan is supposed to measure out 265 so I wouldn't go any bigger than that. Most, if not all standard, two to three fan GPUs will fit in this case, and you can install up to four SSDs inside or three spinning disk drives. Uh, the front panel IO consists of two USB 3.0 ports, one audio, uh, one microphone jack, a power and a reset button, and any other technical specifications you need to find out about this can be found on newegg.com, so you can check that out there. Um, as far as the features of this case, you're gonna get a lot of um, Gundam branding, uh, you got the etching on the glass, you got some design here on the uh, on this side of the panel as well on the back. For this system we're going to be building with an 11700K so that we can just fill it up with a bunch of M.2s and we're going to be working with the Asus Z590 Plus Gundam motherboard to kind of just stick with our theme here. We also threw a bunch of, or well I, I threw a bunch of the gray Noctua fans inside to kind of match with everything. I was trying not to go with too much RGB on this. Just wanted to go with something a little different. And uh, also I forgot to mention, this case has RGB lighting right here on both sides on this side or on this part of the case, but on this side. These side panels come off like your standard side panel where you remove the thumb screws and you just kind of slide it back towards you. So, both sides come off the same way. So to remove the front part of the case, you have clips here um, on three parts of the front panel that you just unclip. And once you unclip them on both sides, the panel just comes right off. And that's all that you need to know about this case and uh, without further ado let's get on with the time lapse <laughs>
So that's the Gundam Mid Tower ATX case by Corn Electronics. Overall, I'd say it's a very solid build. Uh, my only complaint for it would have to be that uh, it didn't have a power supply bracket to make it easier to install the power supply because if you're going to be using a modular power supply, it would just make it that much easier to just mount the bracket to the back of the power supply and just slide it in. But with this one, you had to just mount it from the back panel side and you know screw screw it in from the back, which wasn't a difficult task. But for $280 case I would have hoped for it to have something like that on there. The steel build really makes you feel like you've got a quality tower because it feels solid when you pick it up it just it doesn't flex like you would like you would feel with other cases. There's that's a big plus for me. I thought it was cool that there was two of these um, RGB strips on each side, which uh, I didn't know until I started building in the case, so that was cool. It was nice too because I was able to get a uh, two LED strips and attach one here in the bottom and one here on top and connect it with these. So when they change colors, they change colors together, which ended up turning out real nice. I'd also have to mention that the artwork on the case itself is pretty nice. Uh, I like the etching that they put on the glass. Makes it look pretty sweet. Yeah, what else can I say about this case? These, I'm never a fan of these, but I can already feel the airflow being restricted by this thing. So, also when you remove the dust cover, the holes are big enough for your finger to fit through. So it's definitely not safe for children. And also you don't want to be leaving your USBs uh, near the holes when the computer is running for obvious reasons. Other than that, that's really all I got for you on this case. Would I recommend it to you? Yeah, sure, definitely would. If you have the money to spend on it, of course. Other than, otherwise, you might as well look elsewhere. And if you didn't have the money to spend on it, you wouldn't be looking at something with branding like this anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, it's been a long time too, by the way. Shoot. But thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. The steel build of the case really makes you feel that it's, um, you know, that it's solid. Ah, God damn. So that's the Gundam Mid Tower by Corn Electronics. So that is the Corn Electronics Gundam case. Um, all I really have to say for it is uh